We have a special guest tonight, the man who made claymation a household word, Will Vinton. I never really had much interest in film production until I went to college. This is Berkeley in the 60s. Things were getting pretty wacky. I was really fascinated by what cameras could do. Whoa, that's pretty cool. And in particular, I was working on a technique of clay animation. Claymation. There's nothing like it. There's nothing even remotely like it. <laughs> we knew we were pioneering something. It felt like art school plus vacation. There were definitely parallels between Will Vinton Studios and Walt Disney Studios. I felt like I was working with a master. Claymation just blew up. It went viral in an era where viral didn't exist yet. Winning an Oscar was huge. All of Will's dreams were coming true. Will, it's Michael Cobb. Are you there? Will? And then everything started to come apart. I don't think Will was a businessman. A lot of money was being thrown in a lot of stupid places. Steve Jobs floated the idea that Pixar would purchase us for Pixar stock. If I had taken that deal, I'd be maybe the largest shareholder of Disney. Oh my God. Oh my God. Will's real dream was to be making feature films. To move into features, you need to have a deep pocket behind you. Pixar had Steve Jobs, and now Vinton has Phil Knight. The kiss of death. Phil Knight slowly started taking possession. It became a very corporate place. Creativity versus commerce. Amazing manipulation. Phil Knight versus Will Vinton was the great white shark versus a guppy. They took everything. They didn't need to do that. Will started something from nothing and did it just because he wanted to. He was a mystery to himself. One could say the story makes a character, or the character makes the story.